Hello and welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to show you a pretty nifty routine using Echo Speaks. This particular routine is going to notify me on a weekly basis to take out my trash, but it does this using a unique British male voice using the Echo Speaks app. Good evening, but it is time to take out the trash. Have a good evening. I'm going to show you how to do that. That's up next. Whether you're new to the channel or whether you're one of my regular subscribers, I want to welcome you in here today. My name is Bud and I enjoy doing smart home automation and I also do repairs around the house. If that sort of content appeals to you, then consider subscribing to my channel. And uh, when you do that, make sure you hit that notification bell so that you don't miss upcoming content. Well, today we're going to get into the Echo Speaks routine here in just a minute. But prior to doing that, I want to talk a little bit about the SmartThings Community Installer you see down here in the list. Echo Speaks is an app that you can easily install using the Community Installer. I'm going to go into the Community Installer and uh, I'm going to go down to the Installer Home. You simply sign in with your SmartThings account. Okay. When you go in here, uh, it lists the various apps that are available via the SmartThings community. So these are community member contributions. One of those contributions is the Echo Speaks app that you've seen here. Now I featured this in several previous videos. I would highly recommend that you first watch my video on the SmartThings community installer so that you can get that in place. And once that is in place, then you want to come in here and go ahead and install the Echo Speaks. As you see up here, I already have that app installed, uh, but there are so many other apps that you can take advantage of uh, by using the community installer. It's something that you should have in your SmartThings arsenal so that you can take advantage of all these various apps, particularly the Echo Speaks app. It's one of those apps that uh, you'll find so much you can do with. So let's go ahead and get out of the Community Installer app. And let's go into the Echo Speaks app. And I'll show you how this is set up. So um, one thing I didn't mention, you see here that I have an update available for Echo Speaks. The other nice thing about the Community Installer is that it automatically um, notifies you of any updates that are available with any of these installed community apps. And you can go in and simply update them. So it helps you keep the most current version of the community installed apps. So the first thing I want to point out is that when you install Echo Speaks, you want to enable the devices that you have. Uh, these would be your Alexa devices. As you see here, I have three different installed devices. So you want to be able to enable those first in there. And then once those devices are installed, you can create various actions. I have three actions set up in here. Two of these actions I featured in a prior video uh, where I have set up funny things that, that occur. Uh, so this would be notifications that come through your Echo devices whenever certain things in your smart home happens. Uh, for instance, this wolf howl is triggered whenever the lights in my family room are reduced below 10%. And I'll leave a link up above so you can see that particular video. The other action that I have within Echo Speaks is this fridge guard. Again, that was featured in that previous video to which I'll, I'll leave a link. And all that does is basically when somebody gets in the refrigerator after hours, it triggers a, a notification on one of my Echo devices, which I may find funny, but I'm not sure <laughs> that my wife does. At any rate, uh, the routine that we want to talk about today is the trash reminder. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that. Okay. And you'll find as I stated earlier that Echo Speaks is very versatile. The action type that I've selected here is titled Speak, but you can play sounds 
you can get a weather report, you can play music, you can control the playback volume. Uh, you can do a number of things in here. It's extremely versatile. So the first thing you want to do for this routine is select speak here and then hit done. So we'll do that. Okay. The next thing you want to do is select action triggers. Think of these as things that cause your device to be able to speak. So in these triggers, I have used the scheduled time trigger, but you can have certain modes as triggers. You can have certain routines cause triggers, battery levels, humidity, motion. There's a, a slew of things in this list. Even things like if your window shades uh, come down and then there's various security settings. If Alexa guard is triggered, if there's fire or smoke on your carbon monoxide detector. So very versatile. So we're going to do a scheduled time trigger. And based on what you select here, then there's other options to select. So as you see here, when you schedule it based on a time, you get to select how often you want it to be. Is it re reoccurring? If we go into there, you'll see that you can select triggers such as sunrise and sunset as well. Once your schedule type is selected, then you can select a trigger time. I set mine at 6 p.m. The reoccurrence I set at weekly. The days of the week, you can select any multiple number of days or a single day. I've selected this to happen on Tuesday because my trash pickup occurs Wednesday morning. And then you can have some exclusions that you only do it on certain weeks of the month or only certain months of the year. So once you have all the action triggers set up, then hit done. Next thing you want to do is do the execution configuration. So let's go ahead in there. What you do is for uh, speaking, you want to select first of all the devices in which you want the speaking to occur. So I've selected all three of my devices since I want to be notified depending on where I am. Now this response where it says optional, we're going to use that. But before I go there, I want to show you some of the other options that I selected here. I want to, first of all, change the volume on every device to uh, level 100. And then I want to restore volume back to 20 after the action occurs. You can put a delay in here and you can also have other things happen based on this action. For instance, uh, in addition to perhaps the making the statement to pick up the trash, you may want certain lights to come on. There's all kind of actions that you can trigger. As I mentioned, turning switches on, turning lights on, locking things, unlocking things, opening doors like your garage door, activate sirens. So again, extremely versatile. Uh, this app, I can't say enough good about it. Go ahead and hit done on there. Let's go back to our default action response. Now this is where we're going to set up the statement, good evening, bud. It's time to take out the trash. Have a good evening. And this is the string that's created. And I'll show you how easy it is to create these strings. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that area so that we can go in and modify this. So here is that phrase that you saw. Don't worry about having the proper nomenclature here. I'll show you how to do that. It does it all for you and I'll show you how easy it is. First thing we want to do is clear that. So you hit clear all. I'm basically hitting this here to wipe out all that information. You see the response designer is now empty. Let's go down. And you see down here, uh, you have all kind of options with volume, but all you really need to do is focus on the voice here. We're going to go ahead and select a custom voice. And you'll see in this list, it's very extensive. There's English, German, Hindu, Iceland. The list goes on, even including uh, Russian. So let's go up to, I want to select the English voice, English male voice, Brian, right here. So once you have that hit done and you'll see here that's selected and all you have to do is hit this add voice button at that point. 
Once you've done that, scroll back up to our dashboard here, and you see here it self-populates all that syntax in here that you need, and then it has this shaded area here. All I do is go ahead and click on that, and I'm going to uh, erase this text and replace it with the text that I want. So we'll go ahead and just backspace here to remove that text. And then I'm just going to use my microphone to put in the text that I want. Good evening, bud. Period. It is time to take out the trash. Period. Have a good evening. Period. I'm going to go ahead and erase any extra spaces in here. So, and I'm going to go ahead and for take out that space and we'll go ahead and capitalize that and we'll capitalize bud as well. Hit done. And you're not done yet. See where it says at the bottom? save responses you want to make sure you do that before you leave that's critical so we've saved that response in here there you can see the all the text in there with and it automatically puts in the proper syntax for you you want to hit done at this point and then hit done again now you can scroll down to the bottom and i want to show you something here if you don't want to go through and use that panel to set up those actions, you can simply use send notifications. And by selecting send notifications, you can put in your custom message here. You see, I've already entered that information in there. It says, this is your reminder to take out the trash and it'll speak in the standard Alexa voice. So if you don't want to go through using that custom speech, you can just set it up that way. I'm going to use it with the custom speech setup because I like hearing the various different voices with the different accents. So you want to hit done at this point. Okay, now you can scroll down and you can see this little option here to test the notification. I'm going to go ahead and click on that. You'll probably hear it in the background. So hopefully you could hear that. That was on my family room Echo Dot. And then once you confirm that it's way, the way you want it, then you hit save and then hit done. It'll take you back to the main page, hit save again. And we're back to the main menu where you can see Echo Speaks here. That's all set up. So now at 6 p.m. on Tuesday evening, I'll get that automatic reminder to take out the trash. And uh, it's a real convenient way to uh, set up reminders like that. And like I said, there's so much more you can do with this. I'll likely have additional videos that show you how to do other things within Echo Speaks. Hopefully you enjoyed this. If you did, please consider giving this video a like. By giving the video a like, it'll tell the YouTube algorithms that this is content that other people may enjoy. And it'll certainly help my channel. Again, I want to thank you for watching today, and we'll see you next time.